Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Nilaus, and we are going to talk about the patch 0925 that dropped not so long ago and the feature that it added, the metadata and, and how it works, how it works between sessions. And one of the most important parts is how not to make the mistakes that I did while testing it because you only get one shot to doing it right. So I'm going to be ruining my own, um, my all of my same games actually. Uh, for you in this video so that you don't have to make the same mistakes. That's just how it goes. Uh, that's the privilege you, you get here. So uh, it also means that uh, I'll also be looking at some of the other things, a few other, just one more cool thing in this patch. Now, anyway, the way that it starts is that you start with a very mature base, such as the one I have here. And if we go down here and just have a look, this is a good a consolidated build. If we look out here, it should you not be aware of this. Uh, you can also just look at my entire Let's Play series and you can see that it is a pretty mature base. We have a nice uh, hub and spoke network out here. And um, it, another way of looking at it is that we are researching Vage Utilization 66 or 67 at a pretty decent rate. So that is very nice. And uh, then we have the new option here is the metadata. So what do we have here? Well, metadata is um, is something that you have a mature save game, and then in that save game you accumulate points, and then you go over to a new save game, and you can expend those points. So, how many points do you get? Well, you get uh, they're obtained from by producing matrices at the matrix yield per minute over one hour. So it takes the average, the highest, the average over one hour, and then that's how many points you get. However, this is, let's take a look at this. This is uh, almost 7,200. That's just around a euro. Uh, so 7,200 would be 120 signs per second. That's more than this base is actually doing, but this base is a built on a 0 0.5 cluster multiplier. And uh, the way it says here is that it is multiplied, calculated metadata output by the recent one hour production of matrices per minute times the cluster multiplication multiplier. That's actually, I would say it's divided by the cluster multiplier because it's divided by 0 0.5 that's multiplied by 2. If you go down here and take a look at this, you can see that I have a 200% percentage. So if you have a normal world with 100 um, with with 100% normal yield, so this is at 50% normal yield. So if you have 100% yield, you would have to have a base of 120 signs per second in order to get these numbers. So what this means is if you want to start a new game and you are a patron of this channel, then you get access to all my save games. And it means you can download this save game, put it into the same save game folder, open it up and then start a new game. And then you get instant access to 7,200 7, signs. That's pretty neat, I think. So there's a link uh, in my Discord if you are interested in that. Now, um, what does that mean? So that means we now have a about 7,200 points. Where are we going to use it? Well, the way you're going to use it is you need to start a brand new game. So let's do that. So here we are in a brand new game, just landing, uh, making landfall in this beautiful new pristine world full of uh, terrifying trees. Right. So as we land, we will see uh, what we can do with our builds here. And this is the part where don't experiment through this. Rely on uh, on your trusty YouTuber to do the experimentation for you, so you don't have to ruin uh, not just a save game, but all of your save games. Yeah, that's the part I'm, I'm not super enthusiastic about this feature, but yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. First, a good part. So now we have here, you can see we have all of this. Awesome. Now, what can we do with it? Well, I can realize it uh, since now it's a one-to-one -one basis. And yeah, stop with that. Yeah, thank you for the tutorial. We all know that. <clears throat> I am the tutorial, right? So uh, here is uh, what we have. I can realize it. That puts it, uh, send them to my inventory. That's probably a bit uh, <laughs> rash to do that. But we can also do it uh, here directly into a research. And I can activate the normal research, do that. Or I can pay for it with biotechnology. You can see it then changes to blue. And we can see that it costs 10. Look up top. It's 6,512. As I click this, then you will get a warning that some achievements cannot be completed if you are using metadata. So don't do it for an achievement run. But if you want it, then like that. Ta-da! We get science super easy. It's very nice. And we spend it up here. We get upgrades. We got good stuff. And we can then proceed to get more if I wanted to get some more of these. And then we say, all right, let's uh, buy this one as well. 400, that's 40, that's pretty damn cheap, super. 
Uh, next one is 100. Again, if, if I do this, it converts to 100 more. That's awesome. And we can go in here as well and take the crystal smelting and we can go up here. Now we can see the red one is being used there. I just spent five, 500 of each. That's now starting to really dig into these. But hey, I got crystal smelting, which is come, kind of one of the most useless things to get. Uh, and you'll see like, oh, that's that's great. Uh, this is a great feature and it is an absolutely brilliant feature. You hear it coming, but it only works once. That's it. You cannot get this back again. So here it says that game realize, current game realization is 650. Total realization is 300. You can see that it's exactly the same thing I unlocked in my test run. And we can see 500 here plus 1000 here. They are gone. They are just gone 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 uh, you can never get them back i if i leave this save game without saving i don't have any save game of this i don't have the last the save game and um, i have cleaned out my save games i i can't get it back i can i've tried loading up my my good save again in order to sort of regenerate this one and you can regenerate it but the amount that's consumed over all save games is gone that means by doing this test, I've now cut down on my max here for forever. And there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, it's hidden in some setup file. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I don't like that. I really, really dislike that. It, it kind of implies that people will be playing once and then playing once more. And that's it. Because you only get this benefit for one game. And then you never get to do it again. You cannot do it again unless you build an even bigger base. And then you get some points that you can use once. Like, what if I just, what if I, I build this base and then realize at some point that this situation, this location here, I don't know, but it just doesn't have enough stone or titanium or silicon or something to even be a viable planet. And then I have to redo my save. Uh, start over in a couple of hours and then I have wasted all this and it can never be recovered. Uh, that is something I think is a, is, is a glaring error that implies that you're only going to play the game twice. Definitely, definitely not a fan of that. Uh, because it means that once you click it, it's gone. So the only thing I can say is get a good save game from uh, me, for example, and then uh, you can apply that to your own... Uh, to your own next save game, but you gotta be aware that it's um, you. You're gonna be, yeah, it, yeah. It's just it's one time, one time, and and then you're gone. It's it's super cool that you can unlock all of this once. Oh my god, that's annoying. Uh, once, but then that's it, and uh, you can't unlock it again. Now maybe you're probably. I guess the idea could be like, okay, so you build a base and maybe it does like a thousand uh, science and then you can use that to start the next base and the next base can get up to 2000 and then you can spend the X is 1000 into the next. But if I want to play something again, that means I could never recover anything like that unless I build a base that has 120 science per second uh, or constrained or constrained over one hour. That's a bit, a bit much. So um, don't like the thing that it's a one time among all safe games, but it is what it is. Maybe it's not a problem for you. Uh, at least you know that now. So when you use it, you can use it once. Um, that's, uh, that, that's the one thing. But there's uh, one more thing in this patch that is absolutely amazing. And I really want to just uh, show, you, uh, show you that. Here is a random planet for us to land on. It has a bit of ice. It's a, oh, it's actually pretty cool because it's one of the new Galasols because that has a new ice formation. Hey, that was really nice to uh, to be randomly finding one of these. Oh, that looks really cool. Now, as you know that when I uh, get to a planet and we find the north on this planet, uh, where's the north? North is up there. And I'll do that one so we can find the north. Okay, that's actually up here. Yep, north is up here. That's the north part. So I always start by building my my polar hub. Let's uh, build that. And these let's get started on building it uh, with the solar and exchanges and all that good stuff. Not sure I have enough, but we'll plop it down here. So this one gets built immediately. 
and try to build uh, over here. And now, once this is built, wow, this is a bit of a lag now. Um, once this is built, the next thing I always build is building a solar ring. So this will be coming from this location. Oops. I'm going to fly this one to the South Pole or the southern half of the planet and work on one of these. I am now at, nope, I'm not quite at the equator. There we go. Here, the next thing I always do is try to place this. And what always happens is this thing. <sighs> so I have to run around and find these locations and patch them over. And every time I do that, I go, I wish there was a shift command. I wish there was a shift command like in, in Factorio. So let's try putting shift. I shift enter and what happens? It tries to place whatever it can. You have to press enter. You can't just shift and click it. You have to press, hold it the right place, hold shift and press enter. And then it actually applies it. And then it only applies the ones that can be built. That is an amazing improvement to uh, to how it used to, used to work. So that is something I'm super happy about. Oh, look at that purple uh, hue here. That's uh, almost purple and orange, nice. So anyway, that was a, that's a, I think that's going to be a massive improvement for a lot of builds. Like some of the time you just want it, want to shift click that blueprint and uh, that's what we can do now. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this little walkthrough. I know that it seems like a bit negative on the, uh, on the metadata part, but it's, it's just like if it can be used one, you got to be careful. Uh, so, uh, so that's the main takeaway. It's awesome, but you can use it once. So be careful and make sure that you use it right. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button and uh, let me know in the comment section if there's anything you want to see uh, more. I don't expect to be uh, playing much more uh, Dyson Sphere program until the next big update comes out, the one with enemies and stuff like that, and then we'll be coming back to it. But there'll be lots more and other uh, strategy games coming on this channel, so just stick around and see what's coming. Until next time, take care, and as always, stay effective.